as you can see right here, today I'll be talking about pizza. <laughs> These pizzas are from the sandwich store called Shkolosky. Shkolosky specializes in sandwiches. Shkolosky. Shkolosky. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. I'm not very good with my word. But anyway, Shkolaskis usually specialize in sandwiches and they just released their new item called the pizza. As you can see here, they have two different kinds right now. One is the original, this guy, and then they have the chicken fiesta, which is this one. I don't know how they'll taste, but I can tell you that it smells pretty darn good. I think it's a very different type of pizza because the dough itself is just different. They have sesame seeds on the crust, and so I'm excited to give it a try, guys. This is the original Shkolosky pizza. There's a nice crust on it. I think it has some sesame seeds. This is the Fiesta chicken pizza. Look at that crust. It looks so good. Oh, right off the bat, look how like airy it is. It's more of like instead of a pizza dough, it's more of a, I would say, a sandwich. Like they're sandwiches. Yeah, so right off the bat, I wanted to show you an up close of the dough. So as you can see, it's pretty airy like a, like a bread more than a pizza dough. Yeah, so right off the bat, you can tell that... The dough is not like a pizza dough, it's more of like their breads, where it's nice and airy, and it's very light. So I think it'll taste more like their sandwiches if you're familiar with them. Mmm! It has a really nice, unique smell to it. Like, um... It could be all the, like, smoked ham and such. It does have a little bit of a smoky smell. And like I thought, it has the same taste profile as their sandwiches. And the dough is nice and airy like their breads. Mmm. The toasted sesames are really good. It adds a crunch to the crust, as well as give it that toasted smell. I do like it guys. Mmm. Mmm. I really like the toasted sesame. I think it really adds a different flavor to it than compared to any pizza. Now let's try their Fiesta chicken. Ooh. 
It's very colorful. It's so cute. No wonder it's called Fiesta. They also have like a really nice cream sauce on it. I'm not quite sure what it is, but it looks good. Mmm. Oh, wow. This one's really good, guys. Like, like, the flavor really kicks you in the face. I think the roasted tomatoes, or the, there's, it looks like there's roasted bell peppers in it. And I think that's where the great flavors are coming from. And that aroma. I'm also a big fan of green onions, or scallions. And they have that on there, so it's really good. The flavor of the sauce that they put on the pizza is also adding a really nice flavor to it. Mmm. The fiesta is really good. And it has a little bit of spice to it. I could feel it. I think it's like jalapeno peppers. And I'm a fan of spicy foods. The chicken is super moist. Mm. And the crust for the Fiesta is the same as the original. Wow guys, I'm really surprised at how much I loved the Chicken Fiesta pizza. The original was good too, but I felt like it was just like their sandwiches. But then the Chicken Fiesta, it had so much flavor that I really enjoyed it. Their dough, in my opinion, isn't pizza dough. And I don't think that was their intent anyways, because they specialize in sandwiches. So I feel like their pizzas, they wanted to keep it a little bit of their trademark sandwiches. But then have that fun like, oh, now we're making pizza. So if you wanted to try out the pizzas, between the two flavors, I highly recommend the Chicken Fiesta. I would rate it probably like 8 out of 10. I would go back and eat it. It is very good. So that's my review for today, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Bye, guys.